guys, we are back again with the fourth episode from ABG TV show. I am Olga. And I'm Anse. And this week again, we start with a question that we asked our students. What are your plans for spring break? I'm going to Germany to visit my brother. I plan to go home and study a lot for the midterms. <laughs> I'm going to think about multimedia journalism because it's a very fun course. Are you going to Poland? Sleep and sleep and sleep and eat and do nothing. Work. Spain to meet my boyfriend. They're working, <laughs> no other plans. The administration is working. I'm going to Italy. No English, no comprende, no comprende. <laughs> to get drunk. I'm going to a conference in Cincinnati and then I'm going to go home, spend uh, five days with my wife. Scarto para, that's all. Last weekend, ABG students and international guests gathered to improvise the work of United Nations. And the next video will explain you more about the game. This year we decided to go with two committees in which two topics will be discussed for the Security Council. The topic will be nuclear proliferation in Syria and for the General Assembly the topic uh, is uh, the situation in Palestine. Friday we, the delegates, international delegates arrived first at, the, at one of the hotels in Blagojevrat. After that at 3 o'clock we had, together with ABG students, we had a couple of team building games. Uh, after that we had uh, the opening ceremony and now we are proceeding with the cocktail. On Saturday we are starting with the official part. It's basically uh, session, session, session for the different committees. By the end of Saturday they should start with writing uh, draft resolutions and on Sunday those resolutions should be voted. So this is I guess my uh, third uh, Model UN conference. And I'm really looking forward to it. This is my first Blimun at AUBG, of course, and uh, it sounds, sounds really interesting so far. Last Thursday, ABG students participated in a basketball competition in Skaptopara Sports Hall alongside with students from Southwestern University. Let's see more in the next video. The AUBG basketball tournament was on 16th of February and it was organized by Olympics. Uh, the Olympics challenge, we do it uh, every semester. This for the first time is basketball. We had soccer before, we had volleyball, and uh, we just have pe people from AUBG and also from the Bogoevgrad community. The tournament took place in Skaptopara Sports Hall and each team consisted of three players. The winners were not AUBG students. <laughs> for AUBG TV, Maria Marinova. In the next video, you can take a look at the first training of lately opened Contemporary and Jazz Ballet Club. Uh, the idea is to collect people who have different da dancing backgrounds, so they, we can all contribute to finding our unique approach to art. When the club gets history and when the club warms up, when we show what we can do, I think that it, it can grow up. And... ABG Documentary Club had another guest speaker this week. It was Valery Yakov and he talked about his documentary The Steps of Kalmykia. If you want to know more about this, check the next video. Абсолютно една странна случайност. Бях а, да снимам в Калмикия шахмат, борбата за световната титла по шахмат между Крамник и между нас и Веселин Топалов. Те са будисти, а на 2000 км около тях няма други будисти. Има християни, има и мусулмани. Тоест, а, те са запазили религията и така, и културата и традицията си в една абсолютно враждебна среда. А, второ впечатли ме това, че те имат една история, която разказвам във филма, а, едно изселване, което прави Сталин по време на войната на, цял, на целия народ от, от района им. И въпреки всичко в тези хора а, днес няма тази омраза, която сме свикнали да намираме в в народите, когато те са били потискани и те са били по някакъв начин унижавани. If you have noticed, since last Monday, there is photo exhibition displayed in the main building. 
And in the next video, you can meet with the photographer and hear what he has to say. I had this idea even when I was sophomore, but I was thinking that probably I should wait some time, I should get, I don't know, maybe more courage or something, and then finally expose it and show it. I'm concerned that it was hands, it was a little bit too strange, too bizarre to try and show it to people, and that's why I was, in a way, probably in the beginning, I was a bit afraid how people are going to react to this. These are my hands, and it was extremely hard to take a picture when I had them. That's why I was actually working really hard to keep them and to find somebody to take the picture while before it's gone. Okay, that's it for this week's show. Well, we hope you enjoyed it. See you next week.